Hi guys, Stephanie Mullen, aka Final Cut Steph, back with you to show you how to use Rampant's FCPX Essentials in Final Cut Pro 10. Now, FCPX Essentials is the sister product to Premiere Essentials, and these are essential Final Cut presets that you can quickly add to your footage and move on. These presets do not have any parameters to worry about. You just add, preview, and go. We created these effects and transitions to make your life easier. So let's get started. Now, first I'm gonna quit Final Cut right now, because I wanna show you exactly how to install these. And when you download your zip files, you're gonna get three. There's gonna be one that says transitions, one that says titles, and one that says effects. So let's go ahead and unzip those first. Very simple, just double click to unzip. And now we need to install these where it says. Now if you don't know where your motion templates folder is, I'm gonna show you. Go up to your finder and open a new finder window. And in your search box right here, you're gonna type in the word movies. And then you need to click on this Mac. And now we're gonna look for a folder that has the little film icon on it. Double click on that. I'm gonna move this over here so you can see both windows. Right here you'll see your motion templates. We're gonna double click that. And here's where all of your motion templates live. So let's go back over here to our zip files. It says open folder, place individual folders in motion templates transitions. All right, let's open that. And so what we're gonna do exactly what it says. We're gonna move this folder over to the transitions folder. Very simple, let's go back. This one says move to your titles. All right, so let's close transitions. Let's open titles and move that one right over. Easy. Now let's do the same thing. This one says put in your motion templates effects. Open that one. Close that, open the effects. We're gonna select all of these and drag them over to the effects folder. And that's it. Very, very simple. Now let's go back into Final Cut. Okay, you'll see I already have a timeline started, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here and we're gonna look at our effects. Here are our effects, click on that. Here you will see all of your essential effects right in here, very nice. And then our transitions are right here. It's gonna say rampant transitions and there's a whole lot of them. Okay, so I'm gonna start by showing you the effects and then we're gonna to move to the transitions. These effects are just like any other FCPX effect that you may have on your, in your plugins or on your computer. You basically take one and you can drag it to your footage. Now the difference is here is these effects are going to happen where your clip starts. So wherever there's a cut is going to be the effect. So if I play this through, you will see the effect happen right here at the beginning, okay? But what if you wanted a little more flexibility? Well, I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm going to delete that one and I'm going to show you how to do that. If you wanted to have your effect happen, maybe say right here, maybe in the middle, right? This is where the adjustment layers are going to come in. And we actually gave you one. If you go to your titles tool and you twirl down titles, you're going to see here there's a rampant adjustment layer. Now, there's also one that comes installed inside your Final Cut. You can use that one as well. We gave you one that's a lot easier to see because it's right here in your list. So if you click on that, there it is. So if I drag that here and I put that in the middle and then I grab that same effect, grab that and drop it on there, you're now gonna see that the effect happens where the rampant adjustment layer is. So wherever your adjustment layer is, that's where it's gonna start. So I can move this around and I can put that effect wherever I want, which is very, very nice. And you can stack effects on top of each other. So maybe I have that and maybe I wanted to do another effect. Let's see. Maybe I wanted to do a strobe. Let's add that on there. Let's get crazy. There we go. See that? And then if you wanted another one, you can either duplicate this layer, which already has the strobe on it, like that, or you could add another adjustment layer and have the strobing go as well. Okay, so very, very neat, very cool. Adjustment layers are awesome. Definitely use them. The other thing we have in here, there's a lot of different stuff in here. What I really like about the adjustment layers is I can put one of these on here and there's these really cool grain effects and they're really neat to look at. So if I drag that over here, you'll see that it now has this grain on my video. Well, I don't wanna add that grain to every single one of my clips. So I can add it to an adjustment layer, extend that adjustment layer to the end of my edit, just like this. And now if I play that through, you'll see that I have all this grain and other effects and strobes and everything else, but the grain goes the entire time. This is really nice, especially for letterboxing. So say we wanted to put, let's put another adjustment layer down here and let's go to the letterboxes. And you will see here, you have a ton of different letterboxes and I love the white ones. I think they're really cool. So I'm gonna drag that to my adjustment layer and there's my letterboxing. And again, I can extend this through the entire edit so that that letterbox stays the entire time, right? Just like that. And because this is an adjustment layer, now I can actually modify this video to fit inside of my letterbox. So I can adjust the position. Maybe I want it to be there and then I can move down and maybe I need her 
to be a little bit farther down, just like that. Okay, perfect. Okay, so if we roll that through, you'll see now that our everything's fitting in the letter boxes. We have all of our effects. It's just crazy. All right, that's how easy this is. Add an adjustment layer, put your effect on it, move it around, and go. You're done. No perimeters, nothing. Just put it on, go, and make money. That's what we want. So those are all of the uh, effects. Now let's talk about the transitions. T a ton of different trans different transitions here. Everything from rolling in, you stick these on just like any other transition, like this, and you've got your effects on there, which are crazy. Let's just get rid of those. Those are kind of nuts. But here's our transitions rolling right in. And now you can shuffle in. I mean, there's just a ton here. These are really cool, really easy, really fast. I love them. And that's it. These are simple pre presets designed to save you time and ultimately make you more money. You can check out this FCPX plugin and all of our other FCPX plugins at rampantfcpx.com. That's rampantfcpx.com. And until next time, I'm Final Cut Steph. Thanks for watching. Bye.